everybody it is the 15th of december which means it is day 15 of vlogmas i realized that i never showed you one of the presents that annette got me for christmas and it's a knitting related gift so i thought i would share that with you guys we went to loop london last week or the week before at some point during vlogmas so if you've been watching you will have seen that and while we were there she got me a little sneaky surprise gift if you don't know what it is i will explain it is a knitting needle gauge so as you can see it's like a hand carved loop london we've got measurements on the sides we've got these little holes that are for a different millimeter diameter so when you have knitting needles sometimes the number or telling you like what measurement what size needle will get rubbed off over time so this helps you to be able to see if it fits through the hole you know that it's the size if it's too small to fit it's not the right size and if it goes through to the back then you know you've got the right size so you know what size needle you've got super handy for knitters annette and i are both relatively new to knitting so we didn't realize this was a tool that we needed so it's such a beautiful object i think is the main thing it's just like this lovely hand carved thing so that's a really nice treat I'll do my advent calendars now. So advent calendar, Kylie in the machine, sewing labels. I should say clothing labels because I realize they could be for knitting projects as well or crochet. So we've got 15 up here. These ones are always handy to have any variety of this kind of label but this one's so sweet, made with love, and it looks like a little candy heart. Ah, I really love that, and the colors, I love the colors on there. This is a favorite so far, not maybe the top, but it's up there as one of my favorites, because I do make a lot of things for other people, and having that in the garment just makes it that little bit more special. Okay, yarn, let us go. 15th right up in the corner oh wow this one pops this is a great color this is like a vibrant neon kind of pink it is electric it is so bright and beautiful and again we've got these different shades going through it <sighs> love this i know that the person who designs these yarns or dyes these yarns her favorite color is pink so trust her to get a good pink, and this is definitely a good vibrant pink. I will share my plans with you for the day so far. It's suddenly gotten a little bit busier because that's just the way of life. So first thing, I'm gonna get the cinnamon rolls going. I did mention before when I bought some bagels that I kept some cream cheese aside to use for some cinnamon rolls. So I have an all recipes recipe that I'll put in the description box. They're called 90 minute cinnamon rolls and they are literally made in 90 minutes, the easiest cinnamon roll I have ever made, and they're so, so good. I have made really elaborate cinnamon rolls as well that take hours and hours, but those are different, those are really good, but these for 90 minutes, honestly, you're not gonna complain. And there is a comment, someone put a comment, the number one comment on this recipe is a really quick, rest, easy recipe for making cream cheese frosting, which is perfect on a cinnamon roll, so I'm gonna be following all of that. Whilst it is rising, because you just have to get the dough going for right now, I'm going to see if I can get a little bit of work done on my Norma dress hack, because I need to get going for my Christmas dress. I also need to make Christmas stockings, and come on, we've got 10 days till Christmas. I need to get my skates on. So hopefully I'll get that going the first thing this morning. I need to go to the opticians, because as you may have seen yesterday, I sat on my glasses. When I looked back at the footage, they honestly didn't look that crooked, but I'm telling you, they are very crooked and very comical when I'm wearing them on my face. So I do need to try and see if I can get those repaired or replaced or whatever it might be. So we'll be doing that today. But the main fun event is that Phil and I, my husband and I are gonna be going to a light show. There is an event called Lightopia that has all kinds of beautiful bright Christmas lights. And I think that will be a really fun one to get to share with all of you.
sections as far as like the two pockets are both completed. I've stitched my gathering stitches onto the top of my two skirt pieces. I've put the cuff in place, but it needs to be folded down and stitched in place. You are supposed to stitch in the ditch on the sewing machine, but I feel like this linen, it's quite thick and bulky, and I, I'm struggling to get it to pin and hold in place, and I have a feeling it's gonna slip out of place if I try and stitch through from the right side and I'm gonna miss some of the back, and that's one of the things that drives me the most crazy about stitch in the ditch. So what I think I'm gonna do is I've pinned it all, and I'm actually just gonna hand stitch that cuff into place. I mean, it looks so pretty. I do love how it's looking. I've tried on a sleeve just to make sure that the cuff fits me and I'm getting some idea. Obviously this cuff needs to be turned under and stitched down, but I'm getting some idea of the volume of the sleeve, which I love. So happy I went for this pattern for this fabric. I think it's gonna be so fun to wear at Christmas. The last thing I think I'm going to do now is just try this on, make sure that it fits me still, and pin where I want the buttons to be, and just make sure that I'm able to pull this over my head, because I need to be able to take it on and off with just unbuttoning the buttons, and it's going to end where my waist is. So it isn't completely super tight, so I feel like it should be fine to take on and off, possibly without even undoing any of the buttons. And if that's the case, I might just not bother with buttonholes. I might just stitch the buttons over the top of both layers. So I'm, I think it's worth the test just to see how I'm able to cope with that and if it's still gonna work for me. Now I'm sure it goes without saying that I'm not gonna be wearing this with a tank top underneath normally or with my pajama pants, but this is what I've got for my little try on. Now I have a million pins in this right sleeve, so I'm going to be super careful. Left sleeve, even. It's definitely a bit awkward with the pins, but I love that sleeve. So nice. All right, so let me grab my safety pins. supposed to have four buttons. The top one is marked. So far so good as far as the fit and everything. And I'm glad I took the extra half an inch out of that space. I think that is fitting better. So the test now is to see if I can get this off without undoing the buttons. I'm not making it easier for myself having a lot of pins in this sleeve. But actually yeah, I think I will be okay. So I did manage to get it off. It didn't help that my tank top was getting pulled as I was trying to take it off. And as I was trying to pull it off of my left arm, these pins were trying to jam into me. But I was able to take this off without having to undo these safety pins, which means I can just put the buttons on and stitch them in place without having to do buttonholes. Good news. My reserved cream cheese. So I am off on a journey to the opticians to see if they're able to fix my glasses. I am going to keep my eye out for post boxes though because it's a different route from where we went before and I think there's a good chance we might spot one or two. All fixed. 
glasses new and improved. They apparently just had to tighten one of the screws and they were able to adjust them and get them right. And I actually got them to tighten them a bit because they were already getting a bit loose and I'd been wanting to go in to get that fixed up anyway. So they're actually better than before I sat on them. So it all worked out pretty well. We are on our way home now and gonna have round two of those cinnamon rolls because I don't mean to rub it in guys, but those cinnamon rolls were amazing. I had to do a little shimmy shimmy dance after I had one of my bites because they were that good. But we're just gonna have a little wander through, see what sights we see on our way home and we'll see you back there. Something I forgot to mention yesterday is that when I went to the Like So Amazing virtual Christmas party, they you had to pay five pounds to go to the party and then they let you use that five pounds off the purchase of a fabric if you buy anything in the next 24 hours. And they also gave us a discount code on all the fabric to use. So I wanted to pick out something, just as a little treat. I don't really need any fabric but that doesn't mean that I can't get any fabric. And I've been trying to think about what I wanted to make and that helped me narrow down my choices. And I just wanna talk through what I'm choosing to make or what I'm choosing to buy. I will do a little screen share because I think it will make more sense if you can see it on the screen. So I wanted to get some fabric for the toaster sweater number one. This is So House 7 pattern. I have toaster sweater number two and I really like it a lot, but this one's quite different. It's got raglan sleeves here and it's got this stand up collar here. It's also got some sleeve cuffs and some hem a hem band. And I feel like this one, it looks really snugly with the collar there, but it also looks really cool. It's a really unique silhouette there. I love that collar. I felt like the main thing for this is I want to pick fabric that's nice and cozy, but it also needs to be able to have that structure for the collar to stand up. I don't want it to look too floppy. So I decided I'm going to go for this fabric. This is a sweatshirting, fleece back sweatshirting fabric. And I think if you folded it over itself, because as you can see, this is actually folded inside two layers of the fabric, I think it would still hold its structure, but because it's fleece back, it's gonna be really cozy. And it's got this really interesting, cool grid pattern, which I think will look really interesting. Obviously it's got the raglan sleeve, so it's gonna look a bit different on the sleeve, but I think that join will actually look quite cool. And I think that's going to work well and like I said it'll be a combination of like a really cool structured shape of it but this really snugly fabric underneath. So my husband and I are into London. We're going to see Lightopia at Crystal Palace, a part of London that I'm not familiar with, but it should be a fun light show. So I'm hoping to have quite a lot to show you guys.
Well, that was a really fun thing to do. Felt very festive. Lots of families around really enjoying themselves as well. We are gonna head back home and I'm calling it. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.